Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, what is the manifestation process? I'm sure most of you have heard about the law of attraction. The law of attraction is actually about manifesting things into your life. So today, we're going to talk about the manifestation process. Now, thought is energy. Do you agree with me? Thought is energy vibrating at a high rate of vibration or frequency. Everything starts with your thoughts. Everything starts with thoughts. Now, as far as the law of attraction is concerned, it states that what you think about, you will bring about. So what you think about will create your life. That is very important. So thought is very important. So be careful of what you think because your reality will manifest through your thoughts. Now, you thought about watching this Facebook live of mine. That's why you are here. Isn't it true? You thought about it first and it happens because nothing in life happens by accident. You think about it, then it happens. So just like I said just now, you know, you thought about uh, coming to my Facebook live and that is why you are here. You didn't just accidentally you know, turn on your computer and suddenly watch my Facebook Live. So you thought about it. So everything start with thought. Now, people talk about the Mona Lisa. You know what's the Mona Lisa? The beautiful painting, right? You realize that the Mona Lisa is not the original painting. It's not the original painting. So why is the original? The original actually is in the mind of the artist called Leonardo da Vinci. He thought about it and then he put it on canvas. So everything is in your thought. So that's why your thought is very, very important. Okay, what you think about, you will bring about. Now, let's talk about feelings, all right? Now, feeling is very important because it is a magnetic charge that pulls things to you. Now, your feelings, all right? Your emotion is all about your emotion. What you, think, what you think affects your feelings. Do you agree with me? What you think affects your feeling. So if you have happy thoughts, you feel happy. On the other hand, if you have depressed, depressing thoughts, you have depressing feeling. But the good news is that it is your choice. It is your choice. What feeling, you, what thought you want to choose is up to you. So you want to feel good then all the time. Think about happy thoughts. Isn't it reasonable? Right, it is your choice. Now, feeling is the language of your subconscious mind. Feeling is the language of your subconscious mind. So that's why feeling is very, very important. When we talk about feeling, we talk about elevated positive emotion. Elevated, very high positive emotion. It is the magnetic charge that pulls things to you. So your thought, your feeling actually is the magnetic charge. It pulls things to you. Feelings like what? gratitude, happiness, excitement, feeling unlimited, and so so these are all the positive feelings that pulls things to you because it is the magnetic charge. Okay? Now, the most important thing about all of this is that taking action is important. Most people think, but they don't take action. The more action you take, the better is the result. Do you agree with me? The more action that you take, the better is the result. Now, most of you have heard about the movie The Secret or even the book The Secret, right? Do you realize that the movie The Secret, okay, was seen by more than 200 million people? More than 200 million people. But do you realize how many are successful? Not many. All right, because most people, they do not take action or don't have elevated emotion that goes along with it. And also, they are not in the right frame of mind. They are having the low frequency. If you want to be successful, you've got to raise your vibration. You've got to raise your frequency. That's what it's all about. Okay? Now, let's talk about the result here, all right? The more action you take, the better is the result. Don't you think so? All right? It's very reasonable to assume that the more action you take, the better is the result. So, the result in your life is the result of your thoughts. Do you agree on this point? The result in your life is the result of your thought because you thought about it and it manifests into your life. Now, the truth is that why knowing this 
people still fail. You know that your thoughts create your reality. Why is it that still people fail? Well, I believe that. You know, there are a few factors. Number one, the programming. People have been programmed this way throughout their whole life. It is the conditioning, all right? The environment and so that creates this. Number two, do you realize that the first seven years of a child's life, all right, in the first seven years, the child do not have a reasoning factor. They, that means they cannot reason. So if they don't have a reasoning factor, everything they see or hear, everything goes straight into the subconscious mind because there is no filter whatsoever. So during the first seven years, everything is absorbed into the subconscious mind of the child. So that's why it's important. What you feed the child, it goes straight to the subconscious mind because they, because they do not have any reasoning factor yet. Okay, but after that, after the age of seven, they are influenced by what? By the environment, influenced by the parents and siblings, the brothers, sisters, and so on. Later on, you know, when they grow older, they are influenced by people and environment, like when they go to school, when they go to work, when they go to religious uh, places, they are influenced by religious teachers and so on. So we are all conditioned by people outside there, the environment and people that we surround ourselves with. That is why it's important to choose your environment. Okay. Now, in conclusion, I can say that we act and behave according to our programming. We have been programmed throughout the whole, throughout our whole life. And most of the programming are not good programming. They are disastrous programming, bad programming. Okay, so basically, you know, you've got to change your programming if you want to become successful. How do you change your programming? There are many ways. All right, one of the ways is through auto-suggestion. If you read the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talked about auto-suggestion. That means you keep on repeating and repeating and suggesting the positive thing into your life. Okay, the other thing is, uh, you know, you can uh, go to hypnosis, okay, to hypnosis or even meditation. Of course, there are other matters outside there, but these are some of the things. So the most important thing is you got to change your programming because most of us have been programmed throughout our, throughout our whole life. All right. So basically, uh, uh, this is how the manifestation, manifestation process works. Okay. You need to have an intention. Number one, you set an intention. The intention is the electric charge that you send out to the universe. Okay. And Elevated emotion is the magnetic charge that pulls the things that you desire into your life. So that is as far as manifestation is concerned. Concern, right? Let me uh, summarize for you. What is the manifestation process? Thought is energy. And everything in this world is energy actually. So your thought is also energy, which is uh, vibrating at a high rate of frequency. Okay? Everything starts with your thought. What you think about, you bring about. Now, you came to watch me on this YouTube live, right? Now, is it by accident? No, you thought about it, that's why you are here. So everything starts with your thought. As I mentioned about the Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa is not the original painting. The original is in the mind of the artist called Leonardo da Vinci because he thought about it in the mind and he put it on canvas. All right, now, Feeling is important. Remember, you must have elevated emotion, positive emotion, feeling of what? Of happiness, feeling of joy, feeling of gratitude. And so that's why it is important to have this positive emotion throughout the whole day. Okay. And you got to take action. That's for sure. Nothing happens without taking action. The more action, the better it will be your result. Okay. So basically, if you know that your thought create your life, why is it that most people still fail? Well, because of the old programming that we have throughout our, our life, we have been programmed negatively most of the time. And, uh, you know, do you realize that be, between the age of one to seven, a child don't have the reasoning factor. So whatever they come across all goes into the subconscious mind directly because they cannot reason. Okay, but after that, with the reasoning factor, they still influenced by their parents, by their siblings, and later on, you know, by the people they uh, associate with, all right? Maybe in the workplace, maybe in the environment, and so on, okay? So, 
what is important is that you know we act and behave according to our programming isn't it true so how are we being programmed most of us are being programmed negatively that's for sure okay so that's all my sharing for today i hope that you learned something here if you like what you hear and see please feel free to like to share and to comment i appreciate the time that you spend with me here all right and uh, if you like what you hear and see please feel free to like share and comment and that's all my sharing for today i'll see you again for another session of my live video on friday so this is richard quack from malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye